Okay guys, uh, what's up? It's your boy Beta Ray Bills and um, today I have a video of um, Android running on the T-Mobile HD2. Uh, here it is. This is the T-Mobile version. And here's the HD2. Just turn it on. Start to unlock. Let me open up my Explorer. Currently you can only uh, run this through Harrit, of course, since this is a Linux kernel and is not actually fully working touchscreen is working so I guess that's a step oops um, oops <laughs> okay so here's Harriet. Um let's actually zoom in a little bit closer so here's your Harriet, and what you're gonna wanna do is press run and it's gonna boot into the Linux kernel it's just gonna pretty much just boot the Android. The thing is, you're gonna have to use this quick because it does kind of have like a timer, I guess, and it will shut down on you, the Android. So I'm gonna try to show you as much as possible before it does actually crash. I'm also I'm gonna try to put a bun tool on this as well. So I'm gonna have this boot up, and it should be almost complete. You should go into the boot up screen of Android soon. So now it's booting. Okay, so here's the slide to unlock screen. Um keyboard so here's everything let's go into the build this is uh, 2.1 update 1 unknown base version baseband version etc here's the Nexus launcher let's open up a keyboard so the keyboard is working um, Um, let's go back home. Internet, of course, that's not working. We have no data, and then it crashes. So that's Android in a heartbeat on the T-Mobile HD2. It is possible we do have Android. It just needs to be approved, improved a little bit, um, so it won't actually crash. So we can have at least some Wi-Fi working on it. You can probably contact the XDA developer form. There's not actually any instructions posted, but it's pretty common sense. Anybody can probably do it if they have a HD2. So yeah, this is your boy Beta Ray Bills, and I'm out.